Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? This is Rick from ProSlidePacks.com. Wanted to um, just share something that I was playing around with. I was reading the uh, the group, uh, both the Explainio group and the Slide Creators group, and there was a, a gentleman on there who teaches uh, jazz, and I might have to take a couple of courses because I'm just I'm assembling my music in a in a DJ way more so than a musical way so I might have to look into that but he he made a um, a slide that had a video in it now I remember and I think this in the file section that I created and some others created a video that was you know similar to this but you can put video in this spot and in the one that comes with Explainio in the uh, monitor 3d folder it just gives you the option to do a picture but I could have sworn that I put one with video well so I recreated one so here's one right here with video in it and then it slides out now there was a other another comment about a slide that was in the month six um, and it was a slide with three three video slots in the front here and some text at the bottom a header at the top the <clears throat> The comment was about being able to stop the video, you know, once it comes on screen and finishes the animation and the text is wiped, you want to be able to stop that and let it stay there a little bit longer than it does. Well, I, so I kind of played around with that problem too. And so for the slide creators, um, this delay slide viewpoint, this matches up with, um, let's see, where is it? And I'm gonna make sure you can see this. See this little point right there? It says final view. It's, it's on this track. It says label final view, change position only. Final view right there. So what I did was is I came in here and I created this slide so it stops right there on the final viewpoint. And then it'll take maybe I think a second and a half and start to move, right? So that's what you're seeing. But when you adjust the timing, it extends from this point so it adds time in here so it'll if you say you want to keep this up here for three seconds then you do 24 times three in the frames and this will stay in position just like this and then it would move so <clears throat> see so it's doing this thing and it only stops there for the second and a half because i haven't done anything here now watch what happens when i add some time here 45 sec 46 frames watch bam see it's staying there a little bit longer now it's moving so if I extended this even further see so now you can let more of your video play and everything else if that's what you needed to do or to explain it more because see it the time once it hits that point it, it rests there for the 97 frames and then it starts to move so let me just extend this out just to prove that it is working so now it's gonna stay there longer than it did before because I got 152, 132 frames. That number's really small. 132 frames there. Now look what happens when I cut all that off. Now I'm zero frames. So now zero frames will come into effect. So that's gonna hit that point. Boom, it's gonna go. See, because there was no delay. So yeah, I've, I don't want to put that many frames. 777 frames. Let's see how much is that. That's going to be 777 divided by 24 equals 32 seconds. That it's going to sit there in that position because of the 777 frames. 32.37 seconds. And it should see it, the video doesn't stop. See, so it, you can put as much time as you want in here. And for the slide creators, you might want to consider that point that if you set, you can move that label there that affects this control. You can move the label. So <clears throat> I think you only have two seconds uh, before that label appears. And I think that's all I'm, that's all this is doing is two seconds, then the label appears. But you can move that label. So if you if your animation runs for four seconds and then it stops, then put the label right there on that marker so that will give people a chance to come in here and extend that portion you can only do this in one spot um it's there there are no other labels in there that gives you the ability to um 
make any other timing changes. This extend slide extends the end. So it just basically holds the last frame of the, um, the slide. But if you wanted to have a point where you can stretch the middle some, this is where you do it. So I can, uh, oh, that's too much. Okay, so 494 frames, that's 24 divided by 494 equals 24. Doing it backwards, that was 20 seconds. So see, even in the time it took me fumbling around trying to figure out what it is, it's still holding there. So this is how you would extend the time. Now let me show you in flash here for you slide creators. Right here, see, it's, it's on the 60 frame mark. So 60 divided by 24, that's 2.5 seconds. So generally you got 2.5 seconds. Um, and once that happens, that's 2.5 second mark. If you add any time, even if your animation wasn't done, it's gonna stop right here for the length of time anybody adjusts that slider. Then it moves on. That, that was one of the problems with that three slide, uh, three video slide issue because before the text wiped all the way on the screen it hit this mark anybody who knows how to use flash you can just come in here and just you know uh, insert frames to push this as far as you need and then trim on the end here or whatever the case might be but this right here is the key to getting your animations to work so that when people play with this delay slider they can stop your animation at a point that you that you determine so that it makes sense to the overall animation. See, stopping here works because it, the screen is slid back, is done. If you have a longer video, you have more time to display it. The text is there. And then once the additional timing that you put in is gone, then it wipes away, see? Pretty slick. I'm gonna put this um, out there in the file section. Uh, this is the one that is part of the 3D monitor Oh, monitor 3D, that's what it is. It's monitor 3D. You got this when you got explained to you. See, it's got that one, this one, that one. What's the difference between these two? Not sure. And then you have this one. So I'm gonna try to recreate all those movements and put those in a set. <clears throat> Might give them away as a bonus with my latest musical slides, lower thirds. Uh, musical or thirds coming out but I will give at least the one I've created away and maybe one that does this away in the file section uh, but I've just done the one because I just wanted to see I, I knew this there's one of these with video out there I'm not sure where it is but that doesn't do you any good if you can't use it if you can't find it so this one is working and will be published later on today. See right now it's got 141 frames delay in between there. Now let me close this up. Now this one shouldn't have any delay effect at all. See, and it goes right away. That's cool, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rick signing out, and we'll get back at you shortly.